and that was adequate. You never raise your voice or finger at them or anyone, but one look was enough. You, ne you they learned to know when you looked at them what you really desired. Um, for your grandchildren, they really adored you and they are going to miss you. Those sessions of chocolate eating, I think Mark has lost a market. Because this, most of these chocolates were being brought by Uncle Mark. I think that the, the grandchildren will have to find uh, another, source. another source. And uh, perhaps Uncle Mark will be uh, supplying them. I also thank you that you made my friends your best friends. Um, in fact, some of my best friends now are more close to you than they were to me. I have Auntie Peg here and Susan Owino here and the late Pamela Ngure. They somehow got going as friends so closely and Pamela used to come and visit him even when I'm not there. May Pamela's soul rest in peace. Um, uh, I also want to say that uh, you're gone, but you taught us a lot. We see you in everything in the house, in the compound, and I hope that we will keep your le legacy going. We've done these celebrations for you in the way we thought best. I hope that in the process, it has not surprised anybody or offended anybody, but we were doing it for the person that we know. Some of you may not know him that well, but we knew him and we knew what he loved. So in case we have done this, um, contrary to what was what others expected please accept it as it is um, we just pray that daddy appreciates what we have done wherever, wherever he is but I want still to thank you Monas for being here to celebrate with us Turning back to you as I say goodbye, my dearest Joel. People had so many names for you, and each of them with its own significance. I just wonder the name that the angels in heaven have received you with. But I want to remind the angels that all these names are precious and describes a great man. Your parents named you Mubune. You have baptized Joel in this church, but over the years you acquired other names. You, others called you Anyango, other calls you Pungo, other calls you Agwech, as you are popular known by your peers. Other calls you Kanyar High. The other day I was told he's called Kanyar High because her mother came Kal of Kalanyo and Kalanyo people were more advanced, so they were high. So <laughs> that's the original name. Would me call Okeugi Owoda. Owoda was known legendary for to be a very, that was his uncle from Kalanyo, to be a very, very fierce man a no-nonsense man, and maybe that's part of his uh, nature. Now I hear Tim says that Pungo, they corrupted it to mean Panjo. So for your nephews who loved you sad so dearly and you love them, it's known as Panjo. <coughs> yep. 
In, prof in professional line, everybody knows you as engineer. And you have lived up to that name. One time we were having a, a rambe here for the school and somebody kept on referring, refer, referring to me as Mrs. Engineer. And I was wondering whom she was, he was calling. So for, for others, Engineer, that is now another name that you are carrying on to heaven. And I think God blessed you and you had a, a good education and you used that to have impact on others. We thank God and we thank you. And the younger generation, and I want to recognize the younger generation here because it's a lesson to learn. To learn. The younger generation simply referred to him as Uncle Joel. Simply as Uncle Joel and our house is always full with the friends, friends of my daughters, friends of my son, and they become like part of our family. They've had quality time with the engineer. And when it came to the time of this loss, they all swarmed in the home, took up responsibilities. And this committee actually was run by young people with a few advisors like Daktari and uh, Engineer Tonglo, uh, very few. And Mrs. Jabasai asked her, please keep an eye on those people because sometimes they can run away with their ideas. But I appreciate you, John. I appreciate all the young people who are in that committee. You've done a good job. I also want to thank Jodala, who have been very supportive on the ground, and uh, the local administration, uh, led by the MCA, the chief, the security, and, uh, and um, just everybody who heard about this and decided to lend a hand. Thank you very much. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, I was once a teacher, so maybe I, I could talk and talk. I, I better end it there. Uh, farewell. Farewell, Joe. Farewell, Daddy. Well, Baba Nyango, I don't know why there is not Baba anybody else, but I think it's also Baba Tieno, uh, Baba Amondi, and Baba Toti. So we bid, we bid farewell to you, but you take courage that you are a courageous man, you fought the fight, and you won the battle, and we can only release you to go and rest. Mm. May God bless you. Till we be, till we be, till we meet at Jesus' feet. Oh, till we be, till we be, God be with you. Erokamano Mama Susan, Yesai Maja Mondo Mondo Muteko family, Mondo Kucha Kongima, Tongono Mare Mondo di Kodu, Bonais was if you Ah, Kinde Machope or Kang Mawan Tireni, Korwadwa Romondo Wawachini, Wadwan Mondo, Wawin Yuatnya Sai, Kapo Kuawin Yuatnya Sai, Nice Betty Mare, Reverend Cheche from the Diocese of Maseno South, No Birogi Team Mare, Gage Aseme, Irukamano, Wantiregi Canon, Canon Adolua, who is the Vika in Nairobi, Karibu Canon, you have been with us, may God bless you. Kerege Raka Othuloni, Wadwa Mondawari Kogo Nice Betty Mare, Archbishop. Uh, Bogno from CCA, or watch on no somogi Utiogi engineer, 
for many years. Ero kama ano nya sai mundu gwedi kum biro mundi bed kodwa. Kindegi ada munda ruak jad wong bisho. Ero kama no ba. Thank you, uh, the Reverend uh, Millicent, Mama Susan, together with your children and the grandchildren, family members, friends, and relatives. We do want to convey our condolences to you uh, on behalf of the Anglican Diocese of Maseno West, where engineer was a member. And we pray that God gives you the strength to pass through this. Before I welcome my predecessor Joseph, let me bring to you my brother Charles from the Diocese of Maseno West, just to convey his Maseno South, just to convey his uh, condolences. Then after that, we will. Uh, all rise to sing a song which I will refer you to in your programs. It's both in the Luo and in English as we welcome uh, Baba Joseph to bring the word. Uh, Bishop uh, uh, John, Mama Susan, and the family of engineer. Uh, the family from Seme, friends and relatives, allow me to bring my deepest condolences to the family, especially at this time when we join you in mourning, engineer. engineer, kakose wachi and for the life that he led. I have had occasions to meet engineer, especially when we have Maneno Uko Seme, when he comes as a son of the home. And I think we've interacted with him on various occasions. And I would confirm that he was a gentleman par excellence. Wabiro kakajo maseno south nikeche wakelo nyarwa. Donge gimabere musungo. E, Susan mulo sokani. Wan kaka maseno south we are very proud of her. Kenangen wabiro ka team seme, team rata. And uh, you had seen them. So Susan we just came to say pole and to assure you that you are in our prayers. May God bless you. Amen. We now all stand. I refer you to page 7 and page 8. So you will help me. There is this song, Nyasachwa in Jakonywa Chon. In Luo.
Gimoro podonge Gimoro podonge Tukane ene inyase Kamano, 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 kamano Mano, mano, kamano, nyakachie Ikwa matu tenye himnyasai Gilal kaching achia el gilal kaching achia Gikado ka aruru marpe Toi yin toi yin toi yin toi yin toi yin 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 toi Thank you for being our help in ages past. You are with us and you will go with us into the future. Therefore, we have hope in you. We pray, good Lord, that you will console Mama Susan, her children, relatives and friends, and all those who are touched by the love and grace of our engineer Joel. Good Lord, we pray that you will console us and confirm to us that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. We can trust you. Bless your word and comfort your people, for in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Be seated. Mama Susan, the bereaved family, uh, Bishop John Mark of Maseno West, and uh, Bishop Charles of Maseno South, all brothers and sisters, my fellow mourners, I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Buana Yesu asifiwe. I'm seeing very few hands up. You must be very tired, but I will not be long, so do not worry. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We've come to cheer up Susan and her children and those who have been bereaved. And so we need to wear brave faces knowing that the God we believe in, in is the God of the good times as well as the God of the bad times. He never changes. And so let us put our trust 
in him. Let me take this opportunity on behalf of my wife, Mama Jennifer, who was not able to join us, and on my own behalf, to bring our heartfelt condolences to Mama Susan, to all the children, all the relatives, and all those who mourn the engineer because he touched their lives in a special way. And to all my fellow mourners, we do want to thank God that we can trust in him. Whatever happens, he will never abandon us. I want to thank my successor, Bishop John Mark, the diocesan bishop, for inviting me and giving me the opportunity to minister to the bereaved family. Joel was a very strong supporter of our diocese, indeed a gentleman, and a very handsome fellow who was always properly dressed. But even when he was not in his suit and tie, his handsomeness still showed up. I know that's why Susan was able to pick him out. And uh, some people are so handsome that even when they wear gunia, they are still good. And Joel was like, like that. He was really a gentleman. His gentility was shown in all that he did. We want to say we've come to stand with the family. And we know that we may not console you enough. Nobody really understands the depth of your heart or how you're feeling. But we know God does understand. And so in the name of God we come to stand with you. The text of my sermon is John chapter 14, verse 1 to 6. And Jesus says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. In my Father's house there is enough dwelling or that there are more than enough rooms in my Father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you? I am going to prepare a place for you. When everything is ready, I will come and get you, so that you will always be with me where I am. And you know the way to where I am going. No, we do not know, Lord, Thomas said. We have no idea where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Brothers and sisters, I want to say to this bereaved family and to all of us that whatever happens, we are safe in the hands of Jesus. That is why we were singing the song, Oh God, our help in ages past. You are the one who has led us this far and we can trust you to take us the rest of the time. Brothers and sisters, the passage I have read is what happened just before Jesus left his disciples. He had been talking about his departure and about his death and the disciples never believed him. They were not happy that he would be leaving them. Because they knew that he had to go, their hearts were troubled. They were wondering how will we live without him? He is the master, he is our teacher, he has been showing us the way. How will we do without him? Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, that departure is not easy. 
Even when your loved one is leaving you to another city or to another country, it is not easy because you begin to wonder how will it be without him or her. But imagine when you know that this departure is permanent. Like the disciples knew that the departure of their Lord would be permanent. They were troubled. They were worried, they were crying, they were weeping, and some of them had begun in fighting because the Lord was going, so who will be number one? Who will be doing this and that? Fights began. Then Jesus comes up, knowing their heart, knowing their fear, knowing their trouble, and tells them, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and believe also in me because in me you are safe for I am the God of the living and the dead. And indeed my death is preparing a way for you to the Father. So Jesus tells them, do not worry because I am the way, the truth and the life. Jesus teaches that the way to eternal life, though unseen, is secure. It is as secure as your trust in Jesus. It is as secure as your trust in God. Through his life, he has already prepared the way to eternal life. The only issue that may still not be settled is your willingness to believe him. Those who believe the issue of eternal life is settled. The Bible says when we live, we will go to live with God forever. But if you do not, uh, if you do not believe, then the question of eternal life is not yet settled for you. We thank God that Joel believed in Christ and so we know he is settled. We don't worry about him. We don't even pray for him because now it is Christ praying for him and he is in the land where there is no more weeping. There are no more tears where there are no more worries. But brothers and sisters, it is a reality that the death of a loved one brings profound changes in our lives. It, it raises a number of questions in our mind and in our hearts. It is for that reason that when one leaves us, we turn to God to tell him to settle all the issues that might be rising up and making us uncomfortable. I am sure that from today, Mama Susan will sleep alone in the bed where they used to sleep with the engineer. That's a big change. And it will be difficult. I know from today, the children who would reach him very easily anytime they wanted will not be able to do that. And that raises a real question, how will we do without him? But let me tell you, God promises that he will not leave us like orphans, but he will send the Holy Spirit who will be with us forever. Let me tell you, our dead are not dead until they are out of our memory. But since we loved the engineer so much, he is still alive. He lives in the heart of Susan. He lives in the heart of the children. He lives in our hearts. And we know that we can continue because the God who has taken him will continue to bless us. It is the uncertainty that departures of loved ones bring that throws us uh, to confusion. And it is for that reason 
that Jesus spoke to his disciples and said, let not your heart be troubled, trust in God. Brothers and sisters, the good news is that in this life, everything changes, but God and his love for us is permanent. God's love is unchangeable. You can trust him. We know that death of a loved one disrupts our lives and changes our fortunes. However, we can join the songwriter who said, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because I know he holds my future and life is worth living just because he lives. May I conclude with this hymn, safe in the hands of Jesus. We can sing one stanza in Luo. Yes, Kotaya Pile Ori To Mangwon Anto Kabedo Bute Onge Gil Manyalo Lord Winji Machalo Dwonde Malai Kamawero Weche Mabiro Ira Weche Mamiya Praise the Lord we are safe in the hands of Jesus. He will comfort us. He will give us wisdom. He will teach us and help us to live even after our beloved has left us. Therefore, trust in him for he never changes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, uh, Bishop Joseph. I would now want to invite the family for last prayers. Mabiro Kwayo, Archbishop um, Habakkuk to lead in that prayer. So we all stand and sing this hymn, Kindemokwe Marla Muruoth. It is there on page 10 of your books. Uh, the, the first verse and then and as we sing the family can come closer to the casket but come to Kachandora Katagora Chunya Yudo Yue Yokume Temrok Duto Aseloyum Walam Wakwe Tongi Walamo Walam Mungu Baba, Mungu Mwana, Mungu Roho Mtakatifu Kwa shukuru kwa mapenzi ya kutoko uwema wako Mtlinda, Mtongoza, Mtufika siku ya leo Ili tuweze kushudia jambo hili Awalo ambao minyewe uliandika ya kwa mba binadamu Siku zake ni chache katika ulimengu hapa Siku zake ulizo mpatia siki malizika anarudi kwako Ndugu, injunia Joel Mbune anarudi kwako Siku zake zilipo malizika Bwana tuwaomba ya kwamba familia yaki naweka mkoni mwako Tusije tukalie pile unayavyo sema kwamba Sisi nao kufahamu tukiona hivi 
tusilie kama wale wasiojua mahali ambapo Joel ameenda tuwajua kwamba amekuja kwako ametangulia nasi wote tutafuata Bwana tuwaomba ya kwamba wafariji familia ambao wamebaki tunaweka mjani mkononi mwako mama Susan tuwaweka mjani pamoja na watoto pamoja na wajukuu mkononi mwako uzidi kuwalinda mwenzetu ameenda kama alikujua tena kulingana na ushuda tumesikia vile alivyofanya kazi katika kanisa lako takatifu bwana tuwaomba ya kwamba wale wanaobaki waweze kufuata nyayo zake tunakuomba ya kwamba wale wote familia yake marafiki hata wale wote ambao wanahusika naye tunaweka mkoni mwako wasije kufadhaika mioni mwao umesema dhahiri ya kwamba tukuamini tuku wewe bwana tusifadhaike mioni mwetu maana nyumbani kwa kuna makao mengi na mwana wa Yesu Kristo ameangulia kutuandalia makao ili bad atarudi kutupokea ili mahari alipo nasi tuwepo bwana tuwaomba ya kwamba hawa family wawe ndani yako vile unavyosema kwamba wakiwa ndani yako na wewe wako ndani na wewe wako ndani yao bwana watakuwa wanafanya kila jambo ambayo wanataka vile ambavyo unavyopenda na kulingana na matakwa yako wakuwa inyasai ni pulumalo ni familia ni unanyasacho wa ineno unanyasacho kidung kakuru in jatelo mwicha ni jatelo nyasacho wewe nyucha ni juwe jatelo kuri ya telo nyucha ni juwe ya kom kuri beri ya kom nyucha juwe ni jangan rieko kuri beri jangan rieko nyucha juwe ni osiro give chemangen kuri si give chemangen unanyasacho wacho nika ok ini begero or Jogedo tagere kem nono ger od joel mvune kachel joge mudong iwacho liko kenirito dala juri tagere kem nono rit dala joel mvune kachel kode chiliel makudo gijoge duto nya sacho nitende kachel kode nyikwa duto akete lweti irit gwona nya sacho ko ngeni kirito gi tonge gi mora mora manya lo pago gwona nya sacho ejarit mangon ejarit mokdwar musara ejarit makata pinyoti mumuto to challenge yo di chengu na nya sacho wakwa ini kororit gi kendo wakwa nya sacho ni thoni eri misechano ni eri katwe chegi uru mnya sachwa jogi bende nya sachwa kuru bende kuru kwe 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 kwa duto wei kwinika tu kwe 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 katika jina leso kristo tunaomba na kwa mini amen thank you you can get back to your seats the reverend millicent i hope we are only left with one more thing the vote of thanks the vote of thanks ok fine I see in the program Engineer Hashem, Uduor Noah, vote of thanks, and then after that we will process back to the grave site. Vice Engineer. Vote of thanks. Kose mama nendo tieko. Vote of thanks. Tim. Vote of thanks. Who is doing it? Tim, come. You are up to the task.